G'day guys. Today's video, I'm going to talk about how to help detect and clean malware on most brands and models of phones. Right now, this one here is a Nokia, Motorola, Samsung, anything. Basically, Samsung, I do have a separate video on how to do that. But if you've got ads that are auto playing like this, what I'd recommend doing is if you can get enough control of your phone, I want to download a program called App Usage, which if I go to the Google Play Store, looks like this. Now, I do have it already installed at the moment. Once we enable it, and we want to open it, we want to grant it to have access to all the phone. We're going to be removing it after we finished cleaning up. So, we'll go to the Play Store, We'll download App Usage by AZ Soft Tech Inc. Make sure it does say that. Once we've done that, we've downloaded it. You will have to grant it permissions. Actually. G'day. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about cleaning up malware on an Android smartphone. This particular one is a Nokia, and it's very, very similar for Nokia, Oppo, Samsung. Samsung I do have a separate video for, but in this particular instance, we want to clean this up. Now this one's been a little bit tricky and has buried itself pretty well. So what we want to do is go into the Play Store, if I can find it. Where are we? We are Google Play, no, oh, we just Play. I'm going to go to the Play Store and I want to download this program called App Usage Manage Track Usage by AZ Soft Inc. So have a bit of a search, come across this exact one by this exact company. We'll go install and once we've finished downloading it, which may be quick, maybe not, hopefully quick, we want to go open and Initially, as we go through, we will have to grant it various permissions. So I'm going to go get started. Agree. Allow. Now it's going to load up this usage page. Here it is, I hear app usage. I want to go to permitted. And then back. And back. Allow notifications. Sure, I'm only using it temporarily, so I don't mind. Hmm. Allow, let app run in background, yes. Next step, building a list. Next step, I don't want to restore my app usage. Continue, continue. Now what I want to do from here is under usage history, I'm gonna tap that. And right now it says what's open and gives me a timeline of the exact things that are open and when. So now what we've got to do is wait for the ad to take our bait. Essentially, if I leave this, here we go, already gone. You may have even caught that, if you'll see it in a sec. If I quit, go back to here, look at that. I've now got app usage. Now I have Google Guard and app usage. If I go to Google Guard, app info, that's not a legitimate Google program whatsoever. So there is my malware. That's what's injecting it. So now we know what it is. If I go app info, and I wanna go down to app details to see what it truly is. Well, it tries to play another ad telling me to clean it up. Nope, that's not it. Face Fiesta. That is certainly not what it is. So, uh, let's leave a review. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm literally just typing malware. Back. Well enough, they have a simple interest calculator. Yeah, I wonder if that's also going to be malware. Now, if I go back to here. I want to go uninstall. 
There we go. Google Guard. Da 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 da. Google Guard. Play Store, Play Store package installer, which is me just removing it. Now I'm back in this app. So now that we've managed to remove it, how do we get rid of this program? Hopefully it should be pretty easy. Locate where the app's installed, press and hold on it. We can go app info and uninstall. You can also go to settings, apps, find app usage under there and go uninstall there from as well. Uh, I don't want to keep any data. I hopefully won't need this program again. And done. Hope that helps to find stubborn malware on the Android operating system. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye.